March 2014 and the final day of the Six Nations Championship and to stand any chance of winning the title, England needed to beat Italy by 51 points. Stuart Lancaster looked to play an expansive game, hoping to put distance between England and Ireland, who were also chasing the championship. And Italy, of course, making so many tackles against Ireland last week. Looks like they may have to do the same. Next back from England, direct to Black. That's up, now taps on the flank for Pence's end. right there, Rob Shaw, snipped the line and went for it. She's trying desperately to get this ball back now. Release. I think they're looking for the second try of the afternoon. In short, it's over that goal, and Fagel is right there, touches down. Ball jump came a little bit early, taken at the back. And here's 12 trees to Burrell, back to Farrell. Now to Brown, good hand up to Brown, loads of space in front of Mike Brown, here he goes on the line, second try for Mike Brown, third try for England, and the points are starting to blow in the sunshine and run. Fine for another Seven. scrum. Oh. Just short of the Italian line. Stay nine, stay here. Nine, nine, nine stay. Back. Morgan is pulling no, off stay, stay. and ready to go. Little feed to Kerr. Here they come, Farrell to Brown. Brown with a little loud to no! Out of position off the ball. Real, real. Ball is so well, well, away from Courtney. Now suddenly opens up the trunk trees here. Little hand up and over the line goes Macro for another England score. He looks absolutely out of top, but the five points go to his name, and it's another try for England. Dixon, his first action, ah. feeds it to Laws. Ducker! Laws just runs into a big blue wall. Italian. We've also made a change at scrum half. Gordy on, here comes two and Annie, two strong. And through the goals, that's exactly what we were expected from their super sub. Back in an England shirt and back amongst the tries. England, 39 points better off than Italy. 12 minutes still to play, getting very interesting now. Means they are just 10 points behind Ireland. Could set Ireland an even bigger challenge this evening if they can get ahead of them in terms of points difference. They're on their way again into an interception here. Sometimes going to be Russell. Hits for the line. And England definitely did not have from that angle. Sometimes in for the second try of the championship. Is this going to work in England's favour? Italy possibly making a little bit of a mess of this. Come on. Come back England's way. They might have. A last chance to score the try. Morgan trying to no, pull away through here. Dixon comes jumping in. Ford. Ford lovely little break from Ford. Plays the inside ball. And England captain Chris Lockshaw is on goal. It may just be too little, a little bit too late. Stuart Lancaster is already on his way down for the final whistle. But England look like they are going to pass 50 points here in Rome. Around the Stadio Olimpico, the last kick of the game will come from Owen Farrell. <laughs> Immaculate from him once again. England 52, Italy 11 is the final score. A rampant conclusion to the Six Nations for England, with Mike Brown capping off excellent performances throughout the championship. Despite England's resounding victory, Ireland's win against France later that day meant that they were crowned as Six Nations champions.